The Creepy Syndrome, developed by Boomfire Games and published by Jandusoft, mixes the unique styling of Atari, Game Boy, and 8-bit Nintendo graphics to weave a bizarre and mysterious tale. Our protagonist is being psychoanalyzed by a questionable doctor, who does so by making him play through creepy and unnerving games with various endings. The art style and atmosphere seem delightful and nostalgic. It's sure to be an unsettling and entertaining game. The game is listed as having an early 2023 release on all platforms and has a demo currently available on Steam. Sunshine Manor, developed through Kickstarter by Fossil Games, looks devilishly fun and features graphics reminiscent of Maniac Mansion and Earthbound. This bloody fun action RPG sports gameplay inspired by games like The Legend of Zelda, albeit obviously quite a bit darker in tone. The main character Ada and her friends work up the courage to enter the haunted manor and are quickly trapped and hunted. Luckily, Ada's latent psychic abilities come alive and give her potent weapons to fight off the evil within. The game has released on Steam, has a playable demo, and a pre-order for physical copies of this game and the game it precedes, Camp Sunshine, on the Nintendo Switch. Remorse the List, developed by Ash Candy Games and Truth Key and published by Fear Demic, is quite a bit darker and more realistic than the first two games we've covered on the list. The protagonist must find out what is wrong in a normally sleepy little Hungarian town that has suddenly became a nightmarish hellscape. Both the trailer featured here and the extended trailer feature lovely graphics and truly horrifying imagery. This doesn't look like a game for folks with a weak stomach, that's for sure. The game has released on Steam, has planned DLC, and lists a release date of early 2023 for the Nintendo Switch. Chasing Static is developed by Headware Games and published by Radalika. The game is presented in a retro PS1 style while still looking sharp and graphically impressive. Having stumbled upon the chaos that has befallen a small Wales town, our hero must investigate what happened at a remote, abandoned research facility. He navigates and progresses by using a frequency displacement monitoring device to track anomalies with sound. There definitely seems to be some shocking scenes where he comes across researchers who fell to the bizarre entity that's been unleashed. The game tells much of its story through flashbacks of the events that led up to this and through short, broken communications with one of the researchers. It's available on Steam as well as its lovely soundtrack. Though it has been pushed back a few times, it looks like to now have an early 2023 Switch release date. Something happened. I told him not to go. Please, shut it down. Please. Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse is finally coming to North America. Originally released in Japan in 2008 for the Wii, the game is published and developed by Koei Tecmo. Fans have eagerly awaited an official release outside of Japan for this title, the fourth in the series. The story follows Ruka, who having lost her memories of what happened five years ago during a festival on Rugetsu Island when her and four other girls were abducted, can only recall a short melody. After two of the survivors are murdered, she and the remaining two set off to the island to learn what truly happened. As usual, the sound design, character models, and graphical presentation look top notch. The game releases in March 2023. Sadly, only Japan will have physical releases for the PS4 and Switch, so if you want to pick those up, 
you'll need to import them. Well, that about wraps it up. Spring 2023 looks especially promising on the Switch as far as horror releases. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay creepy.